Hello and welcome to Test Automation Simplified for another video in series APM tutorial. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step guide for downloading and installing APM with all the prerequisites. Before we start, let's see all the steps and prerequisites to start with mobile automation with APM. So we need Java JDK, Xcode, Android SDK, APM app, and we also need to configure a couple of environment variables. In case you hit with any issue, I would really advise you to visit our blog testautomationsimplified.com Click on APM tab Navigate to Chapter 3 Installation Mac OS X Here you can find step-by-step -step instructions for APM installation with some troubleshooting tips. Alright, let's see the first step. To install Java JDK, visit Google and search for JDK download. Click on the first link. On Java SE download section, you will see JDK download button. Click on it. Select accept license agreement and click on file corresponding to Mac OS X. Once file download completes, open it. Java development kit window will pop up. Double click on icon to install. On the installation wizard, click on continue and follow the instructions. Since Java JDK is already installed on my machine, I am going to skip this step. To check if Java JDK is installed or not, open a terminal window. To open a terminal window, open a spotlight search and type terminal. Keyboard shortcut key is command plus spacebar. Type java hyphen version. Command output will give you an installed java version. On a terminal window, type command as vim tilde slash dot bash underscore profile. This will open a vim editor. To open editor in an edit or insert mode, press I on the keyboard. Now type or paste two lines as mentioned on the screen for Java Home and Path. Now to save and exit, we need to exit from an insert mode. To do that, press escape key on the keyboard and then press colon. You would notice colon added to the bottom of the editor. To save and exit, type WQ and hit enter. On a terminal window, now type command as source, tilde slash dot bash underscore profile. This command will execute content of the file pass as an argument. Now type echo dollar java underscore home. This will return java home variable. Xcode is an ID containing tools to develop apps for Apple products such as OS X, iOS, etc. To install Xcode, open App Store and search for Xcode. You should find Xcode first in the search result. Click on Get. A button will turn green with text and install app. Click on it. Sign in with your Apple ID. It may ask you to sign in for a couple of times. It will take a while to download and install Xcode. Once installation is complete, go to Launchpad and click on Xcode. This will launch Xcode. To open Simulator, navigate to Xcode, open Developer Tools and Simulator. As you can see, it opened iPhone 6 simulator window. To change simulator, go to hardware, device, iOS version. Here you can find list of simulator versions. Homebrew helps in installing applications on Mac through command line. Once again, visit our blog 
testautomationsimplified.com Navigate to How To section Scroll down to APM section Click on How To Install Xcode Command Line Tools on Mac OS X Here you can find all the steps to install Xcode that we just discussed Scroll down to Installation of Homebrew section Copy the command from a web page. You can manually copy it by dragging the cursor. Easiest way to click on copy icon and press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl P to paste. I would also recommend you to visit Homebrew official site and you can copy the latest command from here. Paste command on a terminal window and press return key. I have already installed homebrew on my machine so it's giving me an error here. But for you this command will install homebrew. It is always good practice to look for any update so give command as brew update. Next, give command as brew doctor. If you get a message as your system is ready to brew, then you are good to go. It means Brew is successfully installed on your Mac. Head back to install Xcode web page. Scroll down to installation of command line tools. Copy this command and paste it on a terminal window. For me, command line tools are already installed so I am getting an error here. You will get a pop-up window, click on agree and follow the instructions. Visit Google and type download Android Studio. Click on the first link. You can download and install Android Studio which will also install Android SDK for you. But you really don't need Android Studio if you are not into Android app development. You can use any other ID to write APM test cases. Scroll down to get just command line tools section. Click on the zip file corresponding to Mac OS X. On the next screen, select a checkbox and click on download button. Once download is complete, click on the file and select show in a finder. Unzip the file and rename folder to Android. Copy this folder and paste it in your home directory. To find out your home directory, on a terminal window, type pwd. This command will show you your home directory location. Copy this location. Click on a finder. Navigate to go. Go to folder and paste home directory location here and click on go. Paste android folder here. Double click on the folder to open it. Open tools folder. Double click on android icon. This will open android SDK manager. Under tools section, select android SDK platform tools and android SDK build tools. Scroll down and select android API. Select latest API and API corresponding to your android mobile OS version. I have Android mobile with OS version as 5.0.1 so I have installed API 21. You can select any API as per your testing needs. Once you are done with selection, click on install packages to install selected packages. Select license type and click on accept license radio button. Do it for all Android licenses and click on install. This may take a while to install all Android packages.
As we have added Java home environment variable earlier, we need to add Android home to environment variable list. Open bash underscore profile file in a Vim editor. Type Android underscore home equals path of Android folder. Not to mention, you need to update this path as per your home directory location. Update path variable to include platform tools and tools folder which are inside Android folder. Save and exit editor. Give source command to make changes permanent. Type echo dollar android underscore home to verify android home variable value. Another way to check if android home and path variables are set correctly by giving command as android. This should open android SDK manager. Visit abm.io On the home page, you would see download APM button. Click on it. It will download APM installable file. Once download is complete, click on file and select open. Select and drag APM icon to the application folder. This will install APM on Mac. Once installation is complete, double click on APM icon to open it. If you get an error message as APM can't be opened, there is an easy way to fix this issue. Click on OK to get rid of this pop up. Hold Ctrl key on a keyboard and click on APM icon. This is similar to context click on Windows. Click on Open. If you get a message to upgrade a version, go ahead and click on Yes. Once upgrade is done, open APM again. We can also install APM through command line tools. I would advise you to do both as you may want to start APM server programmatically. Alright, let's see how we can install APM through command lines. Visit apm.io homepage again. Scroll down to easy setup process. All you need to do is enter command as mentioned on this homepage one after another. Copy the first command and paste it on a terminal window and press return key. Do the same for second and third command. To start APM server, just copy and paste fourth command. This command will start APM server. Alright. This concludes this chapter. If you are able to follow all these steps, then you are good to start with your first APM automation test, which I will discuss in the next video.